I want it to be an astronaut. It's about exploring technologies, it's about the idea of delving into the unknown. In the foreseeable future, ships will be autonomous, there's no doubt. They will come in autonomously in the port, unload autonomously, load autonomously, and then leave port again autonomously. So with Captain AI we are developing software to make autonomous shipping a reality. And we do that to make the port more efficient, to reduce accidents, and then also to make a more sustainable port a reality. We do that with testing that on both uh, our simulator and also on, uh, on the ships. You have the cameras, you have radar, you have GPS, you have IMUs, all the data is, is collected and then we train based on that, on that data, we train our algorithms. So before we had the ability to collect the data, now we have the ability to process the data. I think that's the big change in this generation is that we have enough computers, enough compute power to make sense of all that data because it's very process intensive kind of decisions and algorithms that you run on a lot of data to make sense of it. So AI is similar to that intuitions that humans have in the way that humans learn. And we're leveraging that in making higher level decisions. Okay, well, if uh, 20 boats are gonna be here and I'm traveling at this velocity, uh, maybe I should slow down a little bit to be there five minutes earlier. So it's like these counterintuitive kind of uh, decisions that a computer could make, but a human would, would have a hard time to make. The, the big benefit of a simulator is that you can make it snow, you can make it rain, you can have high waves, low waves. You can create every scenario imaginable, and therefore you can train Captain AI in all those scenarios. People ask me if it really is possible to do autonomous shipping, but in my mind, humans have already done something harder. Going to the moon requires a lot more resources, skill, and technology than getting a boat from one point to another. <laughs>